Hey, I appreciate you stopping by for my SEMrush review. Stick around and you'll find out if this SEO beast is the secret weapon your rankings need or just another tool gathering digital cobwebs. And if you want to test drive it yourself, make sure to click the link in the description to try SEMrush for free today. Now let's get right on into it. Right off the bat, I think you're going to love the fact that SEMrush has a plethora of features that are going to help you not only find a lot of competitor information, but help you rank higher in the process. Now, if you were just going to be getting started with your website, or maybe you're already up and running and you want to find competitors, it's very easy to do. You can enter in your domain, go to organic research, and while there's going to be plenty of organic data here, you can just start off with finding competitors by going to the competitor section. And if we scroll down, we can see some of the biggest competitors, which are ultimately going to be based upon keywords and some similar keywords that you're also ranking for. So what's better than doing this? Now that you know your top competitors, you can extract some of the best information from them. I'm going to click on Chris Digital. He has a great website that I used in one of my tutorial videos just to give you an example. All right, and if we take a quick look at this, you're going to see that there's once again a plethora of information. We have the keywords that they're ranking for, the amount of traffic, uh, traffic cost, if it was estimated, some of their top keywords right here, keywords by intent. So it looks like they're ranking for a lot of informational thing. They do have some that are going to be transactional and navigational and commercial, of course, uh, top positions, top position changes, uh, their features trend, and plenty more features down below. But it gets even better. What we can do is take a look at their positions and very quickly and easily extract some of the best keywords that they have. Let's do that right now and click on positions. All right, and this is something I love about this. Every time I do keyword research, I talk about this. So I want to show you specifically because it's going to make your life so much easier. Right now, let's just say this is one of your biggest competitors. What you can do is sort by the keyword difficulty, which is here right already. So it's going to show zero. And from then on, it's going to go up to like one and two. So it gets a little bit harder. We can find all of their keywords that they're ranking for that are very easy to go after. These are going to be the low hanging fruits. What that means for you is that you now identified all the easiest to rank for keywords. And what's even better, if you go after a competitor that you have a lot more authority over, you can pretty much dominate them by going after the keywords they already have. As an example, let's say entrepreneur.com came to this specific section and page. They said, you know, what? I'm just going to rank over all this person's keywords. They can do that. So it's kind of a way to bully other people in a good way. Hey, it's SEO. I didn't make the rules, right? So this is a way to do exactly that. And if you want to change it around, you can do position. So everything just in the top 10, let's click on that. Okay. And if we scroll down, you're going to notice once again, it starts with the ease of keyword difficulty. What you can also do, and this is the same thing when it comes to keyword research, you can go for just the very easy keywords. You can do the easy as well, or you can do a custom range. So we're going to go from zero here. And let's just say we're going to go to the possible to 49. We can click on apply. And as you're going to see, they're still sorted by the lowest. But if you're going to scroll much further down, you're going to see they're going to get a little bit difficult. And this is something that you can do with each and every competitor that you have. And I imagine that there's plenty of competitors in your space. Otherwise, there probably wouldn't be. There's not a lot of money to be made and the traffic is pretty much going to be useless. So that's fantastic when it comes to just going after specific competitors. Even better, why not find some backlinks in the process? I'll show you how you can do that. I think you're really going to like it. All right, so here we are with the same domain and we have backlink analytics. We have referring domains, how many backlinks, the monthly visits, organic traffic, and authority score is just going to be kind of a ballpark measure to say like, hey, is this a decent website? Are they doing well? It focuses on link power, organic traffic, and natural profile. This is going to be helpful for you because if you ever find a website that you want to get links from, I have a few things that I look forward to. For example, do they have at least 1000 visits of organic traffic per month? This is going to tell you that Google actually likes it. You know, they're sending traffic to it. It's not just a bunch of spam links. You can also hover over this and it's going to show for organic traffic an estimate of how much organic search traffic it gets. Not too bad. Average natural profile. This is good. This means they aren't spamming a lot of these bot links and five links and things like that and also link power this measures how many backlinks this domain has as well as their overall quality so this like i said it's not always going to be perfect but it's good enough to let you know that between the organic traffic and the authority score you'd probably want to get a backlink from this website so anytime in the future that you do go to do that check them out here make sure they're good they're not getting a ton of weird backlinks that probably means that you're going to want to get one from them nevertheless let's take a look at the referring domains as you can see here, you can do all the links. You can do active, new, lost, and for follow or no follow or all. For me personally, I would rather do follow. And let's say we want to do active ones right here. We can sort by also the authority score if needed for some of the most powerful ones. But we can also do is sort by the first scene. So if we click right here, 
you're going to see some of the backlinks that are going to be newer. And this is a fantastic opportunity for you simply because it means that if they have recently gotten backlinks on their website, the chances are high that that website is still accepting them. All right. If you've ever seen a competitor get a backlink, say a decade ago, the chances are higher that you might not be able to get them because the rules have changed or their website is blown up or they're not accepting them anymore. You get the idea. I'm sure you're familiar with the process, but this once again is a great way to kind of look through and see what backlinks are coming through reach out to them, see if they do guest posts, linking assertions, and so on and so forth. Once again, a lot of great way to uncover the backlinks that they have so that you can go in, check for yourself, and get them as well. And of course, I do want to talk about their keyword research. There's keyword overview, magic tool, strategy builder, tracking, and of course, insights. Yes, you can track the positions of your keywords in case you were curious about that. I personally have other software that I've been using for many years, so I don't use that specifically, but I did want to let you know that they do have it. Now, keyword magic is fantastic, especially for the fact if you type in a seed keyword, you can get a ton of different keywords that are also going to be the low hanging fruit. Let me do an example when it comes to a very popular marketplace. All right, so I have ClickBank here. That's an affiliate and vendor marketplace. I'm gonna click on search. And as you can see, we have 12,000 keywords that we can go after here. You can change this around to question. Questions are gonna be fantastic because one, not too many people like going after them. However, they are some of the best when it comes to making transactions. As an example, when it comes to SEMrush, someone might ask, hey, what's the price of it? Hey, does it come along with position tracking? Hey, does it do this? Does it do that? Many times before someone wants to make a purchase, that one question can be the last decision before them actually picking it up. They've done their research, they like what they have to see, but they need to know this one thing. And if you can be the person to answer it, you can oftentimes be the one that also makes the sale in the process, all right? So that could be for anything. So keep in mind, that's a great little feature there. Just simply turn that on and you're good to go. You can go by phrase, exact or related. And once again, we can go with keyword difficulty. I like doing here here from zero to 29. Once again, it makes it very easy for you to apply that and change it around. Let's click here. And here's going to be some of the easiest ones to go after. We can once again, change it so that the easiest ones are first. And there we go. This is a fantastic way to get a wealth of keywords that you can go after that are the low hanging fruit, especially if your website already has authority. Many of these can really build up in terms of traffic. And while some of these, the volume aren't going to be very high. If you do plenty of these or enough of these, you can get a snowball of traffic, especially for example, if you're in the affiliate marketing niche, these can all certainly add up when you start ranking for them. And given the fact someone's looking for a ClickBank information, the chances are high that they're also looking for affiliate marketing information. So that's where you can build a list. That's where you can sell affiliate marketing products, maybe yours or some others. And I'm just giving you some examples about the ways that you can utilize traffic when it comes to ranking for these specific types of keywords. And if you look to the left side here, SEMrush really is like a Swiss army knife when it comes to the features that they have and the benefits of you being able to rank higher in Google, of course. Aside from link building, there's analytics, you can audit your links, there's link building tools and bulk analysis, as well as many other audits, list management, and so many other things. It would take a really long time for me to get into all of them. That's why I mostly wanted to shine a light on some of the most popular features here when it comes to looking for competitors, finding competitors, looking for backlinks, looking for their keywords, and most specifically looking for the ones that are much easier to rank so you can start receiving traffic much quicker in the process. So what's the final word on SEMrush? Honestly, I love how easy it makes spying on, I mean, analyzing competitors. In just a few clicks, you can uncover their top 10 ranking keywords as I showed you, including those golden opportunities that are right for the taking. And if you've ever wished for a front row seat to your competitor's backlink strategy, SEMrush delivers with a full breakdown of their most powerful links, plus the ones they've just acquired. Because let's be real, why reinvent the wheel when you can just see what's working and do it better? Of course, keyword research itself is where SEMrush really shines. With more ways to slice and dice the data than a sushi chef with a caffeine addiction, you'll always have a clear path forward. And let's not forget the treasure trove of additional features as showcased on the left. Position tracking, backlink gap, keyword gap, and so much more. Basically, if there's an SEO problem, SEMrush probably has a solution for it. Now about the price. It starts at around $140 per month, which isn't pocket change. But if you actually use what SEMrush offers and apply it to climb the rankings, that cost can pay for itself many times over. Plus, they offer a buffet of add-on tools, most of which come with their own price tag. Optional, yes, but let's be honest, when have SEOs ever been able to resist more data?
At the end of the day, if you're serious about SEO, SEMrush isn't just nice to have, it's the competitive edge that you just might need. And if you don't believe me, you can go ahead and click the link in the description to grab a free trial. Worst case, you spend a few days uncovering juicy competitor secrets and realizing what you've been missing. Best case, you start ranking higher and your competitors are now the ones scratching their heads, wondering how the heck you ever did it. Either way, it's a win-win. And that's going to go ahead and conclude my SEMrush review. I hope it helped you when it comes to making a decision. Of course, be sure to check it out for yourself for free using the free trial link in the description. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy SEMrush.